How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport and welcome to another unboxing review and use of a Harbor Freight tool. Now this is a Bauer dual action polisher, something I really wanted to purchase for quite some time, was excited when uh, I got a really good deal on this. I think I paid $49.99 on Father's Day weekend. So I picked it up and uh, I kind of want to compare it a little bit to this drill master. Now we're not going to do a side-by-side -side usage comparison because we're going to use this today to do a wet sand compound and polish on the new car that we just picked up for the channel because of the orange peel. So it's going to be a kind of a fun little project, something I've never done specifically with this dual action polisher. And in the past, all I've ever done is by hand when it comes to wet sanding out orange peel. So it's going to be interesting. Stick with me guys, because if it's your first time, you're going to kind of understand how it goes if you've never done this before. Now I've done a lot of things with this on other cars. This thing works really, really good for uh, polishing out headlights and stuff like that. The downside is uh, it has just a single motion, whereas this one is going to have dual action on the head, which is really nice. Uh, it keeps it a little bit cooler as well, because I noticed this one gets really hot uh, when compounding and polishing. And so uh, also this one here is seems to jump up in speeds quite a bit. So I'm excited to see uh, how variable the speeds are on this. Now this is a 5.7 amp, 2000 to 6400 OPMs. And uh, really it's kind of a basic tool. So let's go ahead and open the box. I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot to it. It's probably mostly put together, uh, knowing the ones I've purchased in the past. So we go ahead and pull out main unit here and lay it out. And this is our polisher and it looks like they've already attached your pad head on here and this is a loop and hook type pad. So this will allow you to attach uh, different things like sandpaper, polishing pads, um, like if you take this polishing pad here, it's gonna stick right to that just like a Velcro would. Uh, our drill master came with the same type of head. This is a little bit bigger. This is seven inch and this is six inch, but you can kind of cross over some of the pads. They will work. This is, happens to be a six inch pad here. Uh, which I used to use on that and these are seven inch I believe pads here and they work they should work fine on both of them uh, Also in the box here is going to be a handle looks like it's simple to attach even comes with the tools to attach it And then obviously instructions and so forth, but pretty basic plugs in you've got your variable speeds Which should be right on the end here and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to work. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's step outside real quick uh, and talk about this. This is our 1984 Porsche 944, and uh, it just got done raining, but if I can get a nice angle here, there is a fair amount of orange peel that I wanted to get rid of. So this car was painted just before I purchased it, and unfortunately, uh, the hood and the top here they just didn't do a great job and there's a fair amount of orange peel so what i want to do is start with a wet sand and uh, use this 1500 with our dual action polisher and then move over to a 3000 and then we can compound and uh, polish out and i'll show you what we're going to be using for that as well before we get started Now I've got it on a number two. I'm not pressing down at all. I'm just letting the uh, polisher do the work. We go to a three. All right, let's go ahead and put the 3000 on here, wipe this down and see where we're at. So let's move in closely so you guys can see exactly how well 
the 1500 grit sandpaper began to level this entire surface out. All right guys, so we're gonna go now and hit it with the 3000 grit sanding pad. We're just gonna make sure we lubricate this, lubricate our area. And uh, I've been using it right around two and a half to three and it seems to be working really, really well. I'm gonna start it on one as we put this down just to get an idea of the feel. Turn it on, kind of bring our speed up here. I'm gonna bring it up to about that two and a half. So that's about a two and a half right there. And what I'm gonna do with the 3000 grit is go back and forth like this, just trying to work out the uh, light scratches that the 1500 grit would have created. I'm pressing down just very, very lightly just to keep it level. I want to show this so I just started to wipe it down and the difference that this 3000 grit just did is absolutely amazing now we can definitely move on to uh, a little bit of compounding and then we'll polish it all out I think this is going to come out absolutely amazing I mean look at that already all right guys let's move on to the compound step microfiber towel Now I can't wait to move on to the polishing. Oh man, that is looking good. So what I wanna do right now is just go ahead and hit this uh, with the polish so we can just tape, on tape this section, take a look at it, and just see the major difference uh, just from doing this. All right, so I go ahead and put that in there, and let's go ahead and turn this on. It's still at a two and a half, so I'll start it at the lowest, and then I'll show you guys. It's about a two and a half right there. I'm gonna go up to a three. So we can really polish this out. About a three and a half there. You don't really get any sticking with the polish like you would with the compound, so you can go a little bit faster with it. We're gonna call that it. Let's go ahead and wipe this down real quick and take a look at where we're at. And I hope we can pick this up. I'm gonna see if we can get some good angles for you guys because this is absolutely unbelievable. Almost all the orange peel is completely gone. Now, there is some rippling because it's not the best paint job in the world, but what a world of difference this is making. Let me go ahead and take this tape off now, see if we can get difference if you can see it's all orange peeled up in here and this is like glass now and uh, I am going to be hitting some of those areas a little bit more but man what wow. a difference this has made so guys this was one of my favorite view reviews I've ever done because this is now my favorite product I've ever purchased from Harbor Freight hands down changes the game when it comes to polishing uh, on a budget I mean I paid $49.99 with a coupon on Father's Day for this and I got to tell you I went down to uh, AutoZone and picked up these Griot uh, pads night and day compared to the pads I was using from Harbor Freight. So highly suggest them. They're $15 a piece, so not cheap by any means. But the quality and the way that these work on this six inch pad is absolutely amazing. Also uh, using the uh, Meguiar's compound and the Meguiar's uh, polish worked out 
amazing. These things are both under 10 bucks. Make sure you've got lots of microfiber towels handy and uh, soap and stuff like that. So make sure you've got everything set up and you will absolutely love this. So I just spent about six hours straight wet sanding, compounding, and polishing my Porsche out there. I'm about to jump out there and show you guys. And I got to tell you, if I didn't have this tool, it would have been a nightmare. If I would have been using this cheap drill master one, it would have been a disaster nightmare. I can tell you, I've used this before and I didn't realize how much this thing heats up and starts burning through paint and all that stuff. This thing just kept going and going and was super smooth. With all that said, let's go ahead and check out the car because I'm so excited with the results I've got from this thing. I'm definitely giving this a five out of five. I'm gonna go online and review it right away. If you don't have one of these and you love to clean your car, polish your car, and you can get it for 50 bucks, hands down, it's gonna be the best tool you've ever bought for your car. So let's jump outside. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this hood. So you guys got clips throughout this, seeing how uh, I wet sanded, compounded, and polished this. And this was a terrible paint job that was done on this car. And now it is so presentable, so amazing. And it was done, I wouldn't say effortlessly, because this was a lot of work. But man, the difference between using cheap, crappy tools compared to using something like that that's not even expensive is phenomenal. I want you guys to know that this is the best tool hands down so far that I've ever bought from Harbor Freight and I highly, highly recommend it for any car person out there. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I hope I helped one of you guys out on making your decision.